In this lecture, I will discuss about the DAPT and MR technique. So, what is DAPT? So, we are doing proton decouple carbon NMR generally, as we have discussed in the section of carbon NMR. So, we are losing the information about the number of protons attached to individual carbon. So, DAPT or distortion less enhancement by polarization transfer is a technique to get the information about the proton attached to carbon. That is, we have CH3 or CH2, CH or quaternary carbon in a molecule. So, we can find that how many methyl, how many CH or how many quaternary carbon we have in our molecule. So, this helps to interpret the NMR spectra to find the structure of organic molecules. So, in a DAP technique, is a it is a double resonance pulse program that transfer polarization from proton to carbon nucleus. The sample is irradiated with a complex sequence of pulses in both the 13C and 1H channels. The result of these pulse sequences is that the 13C signal for the carbon atoms in the molecule will exhibit different phases. Depending on the number of hydrogen attached to each carbon, each type of carbon will behave slightly different depending on the duration of the complex pulse and this difference can be detected and spectra produced in each experiment can be plotted. Now come to what exactly we observe in DAPT and MR which is important for us to find the structure of organic molecule. So we run DAPT and MR in four stages. First ordinary broadband decoupled spectrum as we do generally for carbon and MR. This gives information about the chemical shift of all carbon signal in the molecules regardless primary, secondary, tertiary or quaternary. So because this is a general carbon NMR, so we will see peaks of all type of carbon there. DAPT 45. It gives the signal only for protonated carbon means signal for quaternary carbon will be missing here. DAPT 90 only gives signal for CH carbon means carbon having only one proton attached to them will give signal in DAP90. Carbon for CH3 or CH2 or quaternary carbon will be missing in DAP90. DAP135 it gives CH3 and CH signal positive up means above the baseline and CH2 signal appear as negative signal means below this baseline. There is no signal appears for quaternary carbon. So based on these four stages, we can find that which signal comes from CS3. In our spectrum, which signal is coming from quaternary carbon, which signal is coming from CH2 and which signal is coming from CH carbon. So let's take the example of isopentyl acetate. So this has six type of carbon. So first take the general carbon NMR that's shown here, which is the decouple proton decouple carbon NMR so you can see the signal for each type of carbon here means total we have six signal in this carbon NMR but now we are taking DAP45 means DAP45 shows only peaks for CH, CH3 and CH2 carbons no peaks will appear for quaternary carbon so you can see peaks for carbon number six goes miss here means it is not showing any peaks for quaternary carbon. So this shows that carbon number 6 is quaternary carbon. As you can see this is quaternary carbon. Now take the DAP90 which shows only peak for CH carbon. So this shows we have only one CH carbon in our molecules. The whole peak goes miss here. So this peaks belongs to carbon number 2 or this one. So you can see this 2 is only the CH containing carbon in our molecule. That's why we are getting only one peak in DAP90. Now DAP135 gives peak for CH3 and CH3 above the baseline and for CH2 below the baseline. So you can see this peaks belongs to CH2 which is belongs to carbon number 3 and this peaks also belongs to CH2 because this is on the below the baseline. So this is for carbon number 4 and these all peaks belongs to CH3 and CH carbon. We all already know that this peaks for CH and these two peaks will be for CH3 because we already have seen this peak in that 
19 that's gives only peak for cs so this so by doing these four stages we are able to find that which carbon is quaternary which carbon is connected to three proton which is to two proton and which is only connected to one proton so this information help us to find the structure of organic molecule now take the another example of this molecule so this molecule has plane of symmetry so half part will be equivalent to the other half part so finally this molecule will show only one two three four five six signal in carbon nmr so just let's take the general carbon nmr so here we are getting one two three four five six peaks two peaks in the saturated carbon region and three peak in aromatic region one peak in carbon region now let's take the depth 45 so one peak goes miss here that's in carbonyl region so this shows that this peak belongs to quaternary carbon now take DAP90 which shows peak only for CH carbons. So we are here we are getting only two peaks. So this shows we have only two proton two carbons attached to one proton. Means only two CH carbons available in our molecules. Now means these two peaks belongs to CH3 or CH2, but we are not sure which is CH3 and which is CH2. Now let's take the that 135 which shows one peak below, below the baseline and one peak above the baseline as we know above the baseline will be either CH or CH3 and below the baseline will be CH2 in depth so this peaks belongs to CH2 carbon and this peaks belongs to CH3 carbon so again we are able to find that which is, uh, peaks belongs to car quaternary carbon which peaks belongs to CH2 carbon which peaks belongs to CH3 carbon or CH carbon so in this way we are finding the structure of organic molecules and we are getting the information about the protons attached to carbons which we are missing in proton decoupled carbon nmr and thank you very much have a very nice day